Gemini, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse. We're going to be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. Let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with messages in reference to the recent past when it comes to the sign of Gemini. Talk to me about the recent past. What's going on with Gemini in the recent past here? So there's something around your home life that seems to be unstable. We have the seven of pentacles energy. So I feel like you're missing something. I feel that there's this energy of being incomplete. You're disappointed. Here, I feel that there's unsatisfaction. It's like you wanted something to be a different way. You wanted it to turn out different. For some reason, something didn't come out the way that you wanted it to. Please keep in mind that these energies are interchangeable. This could be the person that you're dealing with, not necessarily you. I just feel like there's an issue at home, okay? in the recent past. Tell me more about the recent past for Gemini. If it's not happening at home, there's definitely an issue at some foundation, okay? Could be at work as well. Capricorn energy presenting itself. Something was just toxic or it felt like it was no good for you. There was something that needed to end. You had to put a stop to it. There was a cycle. Something is very repetitive, or it was. Clarify the devil here in the recent past for Gemini. Clarify. All right, so... Hmm. We have the Six of Pentacles energy and the judgment in reverse. So you're not sure in the recent past if you want to continue with someone or with something. So if it's about work, you're not sure if you want to stay in that position. If it's about a person, you're not sure if you want to keep dealing with them is what I'm getting here. Okay, we have Scorpio energy showing up here and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a little bit of fire with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more. The Wheel of Fortune, a rapid change, a sudden change. Something has changed drastically in the recent past, okay? Now, let's take a look at the present. Please talk to me about the present when it comes to Gemini. Talk to me about the present. In the present moment, you could be wanting to communicate with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn energy, all right? This is your energy with the swords. This is an earth sign, okay? doesn't have to be an earth sign. However, you want to talk to somebody. I see that here, okay? The conversation is going to start off very light. So I don't feel like you have to worry about any type of issue or getting into an argument. This person wants to meet you halfway is what I get there. Tell me more about the present. Please clarify the page of pentacles. Yeah, there's somebody that's waiting for you, Gemini. They're waiting to hear from you. Three of Wands. Tell me more. What do you want to talk about? Because I see that you're trying to talk. You want to talk about 
what you're seeing, what you're thinking about, Page of Swords energy, what you saw, what you heard. So there's some decompressing that you want to do. You could feel like somebody's turning their back on you too. And so you're trying to not lose this person, probably trying to get their attention in some way, or you will be. Tell me more. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. I feel like you're trying to get somebody's attention here. Tell me more about the present. Tell me more. The tower. Something is going down here, huh? So you want to talk about a problem that you have or this person is also having a problem. You could be in separation, but you want to talk to them, but they're having issues is what I'm getting with something. Clarify the tower for Gemini in the present. Clarify the tower, the Ace of Swords. The tower has a lot to do with whatever it is you plan on saying to this person, Gemini. It's like you're going to speak up about something. And that may shake things up. It's like you're looking to be honest here. Or you could have said something and someone took it the wrong way. I feel like you're trying to get somebody back. You want somebody back is what I'm getting here. Or you're trying to get someone's attention that you feel that you're losing or that turned their back on you or something like that. Talk to me about the future for Gemini. Talk to me about the future as you hear the sirens, right? Hmm. Talk to me about the future. Okay, this wanted to come out. Temperance, Sagittarius energy coming out here, but... This is very similar to the Two of Cups energy. So it's like there's some sort of balance that's created in the future between you and somebody. Clarify temperance in the future for Gemini. Clarify this temperance energy in the future for Gemini, please. The Queen of Pentacles. A lot of earth energy coming out here, Gemini. So you could be coming together with a queen of pentacles, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Sagittarius is what I'm getting here. Tell me more. Tell me more about the future for Gemini. Yeah, somebody's dropping a third party. So if there was more than one person, it's like someone knows that they only want one. Hmm. Anything else? The justice is in reverse though. So it's like, you're coming together with someone, but there's still something that's bothering you. You're very disturbed by it, and it's just going to be a process. It's going to take a little while for you to feel better about whatever it is that's going on, Gemini. I just feel like you do want to communicate with somebody here. I see that. There's a lot of venting that you want to do, and that's okay because it's healthy for you to basically let out everything that you've been going through. It's just not going to be resolved overnight. All right, so that's what I have for you, Gemini.
to book a private session. All that info is below. Take care.